Hello and welcome back to the channel. Have you ever wanted to improve the airflow inside your master bedroom and also your bathroom in your RV? Well, today we're out with the old and in with the new. All right, something just showed up for our next project. First thing we need to do is remove all of the sealant around the original vent that came with the rig. Then we'll be able to install the new Dometic fan. The hardest part of this whole change out is going to be removing this, this sealant around the existing fan. So what I'm using is a plastic putty knife. It's not super sharp but just enough beveled edge on here to be able to get underneath that sealant and pull it up. I did purchase these at Harbor Freight. Looks to be about 21 screws. Oh yeah. That's what we like to see. There you go, that's all there was to it. This is what that fan looks like without the cover on. But here's that shroud that Rich was talking about that should be in here. It should seal this all the way up to the bottom of the vent so that you don't get moisture getting pumped into your attic. I'm gonna go down below now and take that old fan out. All right, we got a little bit of a sunroof now. The benefit of the new fan is it's gonna have a smoked cover on it and it's gonna give us a lot more natural light here in the bathroom in this dark corner. So it's really gonna lighten up this whole area. And when it's open, we'll be getting even more natural light in. I already disconnected the electrical from up top, so this should just come right out. That's all there is to it. Little control panel here that the uh, cable from the wall switch plugs into. I'll utilize that wall switch somehow if I can figure out how to make it work. But all the controls for the new fan are on the cover. So all I need to get is the 12 volt power that's up here to power this fan. I'm gonna have to remove these two blocks because it needs to be 14 by 14. And when I remove this block and this block, that'll give us that dimension to be able to get that new fan in there. Now I can really see that natural light coming in. How nice is that gonna be? Dot drive's getting a little worn out. This is the sleeve that should have been in there with that old fan. Like so. Old fan. I have to mount the body up here and then this will be the last thing I put in is this trim piece. Let's go back up on the roof. I'm using a little denatured alcohol to clean up this PVC roofing around here. Just a little fun fact, you can't buy denatured alcohol in California. I've had this for years. Cleans up real nice. This might be interesting to you, but this original PVC liner like this, 
and the TPO roofs that they use on commercial buildings was originally designed as a pool liner and they found out that they could use it on roofs. A benefit is the reflectivity of the white, reflecting the heat away, easier to install, easier to repair. When you install this, make sure you put the hinge towards the front of the rig. That way, if you happen to leave or forget to put that down before you leave, it'll be open like this so the wind doesn't get underneath and pop it up. Just like that one there. This is a more heavier duty sealant that goes on here to keep the water from getting in. When the flange goes on there, that'll squash down just like it did before. The caulking that came off of the old one, because I didn't have any. So I scraped it all off and I rolled it out and I put it back on there. It should be fine. All right, let's set it on there and see what it looks like. We won't be able to fasten it yet. We're gonna have to set it in place and go down below and put the sleeve up to make sure that the sleeve lines up with this, with this gap right here. So we'll set the fan in and then we'll go downstairs and make sure that the sleeve or the shroud fits properly before we screw this down. Remember to put the hinge, remember to put the hinge forward. Get your wires in there. That's a little bit of a bummer is that this flange doesn't cover the old screw holes. There's the old screw holes there. So I'm gonna have to make sure that I caulk that really well and I'm actually gonna caulk these holes before I put this down permanently. All right, let's see how the shroud fits. That shroud is a little bit short. Maybe when I suck that down, we'll get down to at least an eighth of an inch. There's four smaller screws. Those are for the shroud inside. And then the remainder of these screws are gonna go in here, in these holes, to secure the vent down. Don't tighten these super tight because you'll split this plastic. Because we have that mastic underneath there. It's gonna take some time for it to compress down and squash out. And then we'll go around and give them another little snug. As soon as you see it start to pull down, stop. See how that mastic pushed out around there? That's exactly what we want. Now the only thing left to do is to caulk it. But before I do that, I'm gonna go downstairs and put that shroud on just to make sure it fits before I caulk this for the final time before we leave. Let me clean up some smudges here. In the old cover where it looks like they caulked these nail holes. electric. I should be able to take the positive right here and clip it into this red one right here. And the white one will go in here like that. <laughs> Turn this to, all right, that feels good. All right, let's button this up and see what it looks like. Again, about tightening screws, do not tighten these too tight because what will happen is over a period of time, this stuff expands and contracts like crazy with heat is you'll wind up getting cracks off these corners. So screw it in and maybe back it off a half a turn to a turn just so that you don't put additional stress on the shroud. I'm gonna remove the excess uh, butyl or this black caulking around there. I'm going to remove that. I'm going to clean it one more time with alcohol all the way around. 
and then I'm going to cock it up. Okay, the sealant I purchased did not come with the fan. I had to order this separately. Self-leveling for horizontal applications, white and PVC. And that's what we have on the Alliance Avenue is a PVC roof. I know that caulking was kind of kind of poopy right now, but let it sit overnight and tomorrow it'll level itself out and it'll look perfect. It'll come out something like like this. There's a hole right there. Better fix that. All right, I started at five o'clock. It's getting a little dark. The time now is 6.57, so just a shade under two hours. Not bad, I actually didn't think I was gonna get it all done tonight. I was just coming out to remove the caulking or the ceiling around the top and see what it was gonna entail. And well, one thing led to another and now it's all done. Okay, now to go over the operation of this new fan. This fan is has a thermostat to control the fan when it kicks on and off. However, when the thermostat is set, it doesn't open the cover. So the only time the fan works is if you open the cover with this switch here. So this fan has three settings for the fan speed, off, one, two, and three. Has a fuse located here. Has the thermostat dial here where you can go cooler. So it'll turn on if it gets colder or if you turn it all the way to the right, it will come on when it's much hotter. This is a manual crank to open the lid. This is the power switch. And this switch right here determines whether the fan's in the off mode. If it's ventilating outward. Or if it's pulling air in. by rotating the thermostat knob, that will activate the fan at the desired temperature. All right, hey everybody, I hope you enjoyed that video. Just took us a shade under two hours to get that little uh, DIY project completed. Make sure you check out this video next. It's another DIY project. Plus we have a whole slew of other travel videos, mainly on the West Coast, California, Oregon, a uh, little bit of Washington, but give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks for watching. And again, check out this video here next.